There's been a revolution in wine in Scotland in the last 20 years or so, with most of us dropping a bottle or two into our supermarket trolleys. But when you look around the range in a supermarket like this, with 300 wines on the shelves, choosing just one can be a bit of a problem. Take a moment to get your bearings. A supermarket like this has arranged its aisles by country, so if you like Italian wine, go to the Italian section. However, if you like Sauvignon Blanc, you may have to hunt round all of the aisles to find just that perfect bottle. Most of us will choose our wines according to our budget. If you normally spend a fiver on your wines, you'll get a really good everyday bottle. However, if you can stretch to between five and ten pounds, it's a really happy hunting ground for wine. And my personal favourite, here, the winemaker has a chance to choose his best grapes and make his best bottles. Over a tenner, and we're into the world of fine wine. These are wines for special occasions and to be laid down to form the basis of your own cellar. They're also really impressive to serve to your friends at a posh dinner party. Beware of tempting offers. Half price wine? Well, like everything else, you get what you pay for. So was this wine ever worth twice the price on the shelf? I'm not so sure. An important thing to remember is that the taxman takes a big chunk of every bottle of wine. £1.61 goes in duty and 15% goes in VAT. If you spend less than £4.25, you're spending more on the tax than you are on the stuff in the bottle. Supermarkets are a great place to buy wine. There's fantastic choice and there are some really good prices too. But of course it's not the only way. You can pop into your local merchant you'll get good advice and some really interesting wines. And there's a whole world of choice available on the internet. But wherever you buy your wine, make sure you buy what you like and enjoy it.